Well, on Fridays, we always like to take a little time to share some of the comments that we've received on social media pertaining to the biggest stories of the week. Yesterday, the New York Times reported, and the story was quickly confirmed by several other credible sources, including Fox News, that the president wanted to fire special prosecutor Robert Mueller, but was talked out of it. Well, Jason didn't like it at all, saying, laugh out loud, it's still a claim no proof. One person says it happened, the other says it didn't, and even if Trump suggested the firing, Republicans or Trump, you know, drain the swamp. He didn't follow through and he followed the advice that was given, you know, like a sane, intelligent person would do. As Mike said, this is a witch hunt and a nothing burger, as usual. But Dennis countered saying, you wouldn't believe it if Trump murdered his vice president on TV. You are truly pathetic. Even Fox News, your mother's milk, confirmed it. Stan Bailey stands with the president too. He says, I would believe President Trump over the New York Times. I wonder when Mueller will start investigating the collusion with the Clintons, Obama, Schultz, the DNC, the FBI and DOJ, or is this going to be swept over or another special counsel to investigate his investigation? Stan, thanks for weighing in on this. The only thing I would point out is that Mueller was appointed to investigate Russian collusion in the election, not President Trump specifically or Hillary Clinton, but Russian collusion. Very few would deny at this point that the Russians were involved, but to what extent and who had knowledge of it is what we're waiting to find out. And when we do, heads should roll. It was also an interesting story this week, but the NFL has refused to put an ad from a veterans group in the Super Bowl program for this year with the message, please stand. I asked if anyone out there believed that this was censorship. Michael had this to say, it's funny, Mark, how refusing to run ads is called censorship, but refusing to make a cake is called discrimination. Let's not let the facts get in the way of the story. This is fresh from the double standard ranch. Paul says, it's not censorship. They're a private business deciding what they think is best for their company. At the same time, people who are angry at the NFL can decide whether or not to watch. As we can see, their ratings are down this past year, so they have every right to deny the commercial, but fans have every right not to watch. It's a good point, Paul. And Dana had a great point as well, saying the NFL claims they don't want to advertise a political statement. Well, Roger, meaning Roger Goodell, the commissioner, what do you call what your kneeling players are doing? It should be noted that the players maintain that this is not meant to disrespect veterans or the flag, but rather to take a stand against social injustice. Another big story this week, the video of Border Patrol agents purposely spilling out water that was left in the desert by humanitarian groups for illegal border crossers. The following day, an ASU teacher was arrested for giving food, water and shelter to some of those undocumented immigrants. I asked, where is the line between where human kindness and compassion ends and following the letter of the law begins? Tracy says, I would, be, I would take being arrested if I gave any starving person food and water. His charges won't last anyway, and I'm glad he did the right thing. But Thomas sees this a little more black and white, saying, really? So if a bank robber is on the lam, they can stay at your house or get a free meal? I'm not really sure that it's fair to compare bank robbery and crossing the border for a better life, but okay. And CU says, it's simple, the line is at the border. And we got this from Casey. Helping criminals evade law enforcement is kind and caring. I think someone else didn't read the story. Well, here's what makes social media great. It's a chance for all of you to voice your opinions on stories. We may not always agree, but we're trying to give you a voice in the stories that we do cover. Thanks as always for weighing in.